Sarah, and I'm a Doctor of Physical Therapy student here at Regis University. This is Lena, and she will be performing the A-strand submax exercise test today on a cycle ergometer in order to estimate her VO2 max. According to Lena's intake questionnaire, she is moderately active based on ACSM's guideline of 150 active minutes per week. Lena has no cardiovascular, renal, or metabolic disease, nor any symptoms of these diseases. Due to her being in the low-risk stratification for cardiovascular disease, we will proceed with this test without receiving medical clearance. Based on Lena's age, her submax heart rate range is 115 to 163 beats per minute. Before beginning the test today, I took Lena's resting vitals and her heart rate was 66. Her blood pressure was 106 over 74, and her rate of perceived exertion was 6. We then made sure the cycle ergometer was set up properly by setting the height of the seat to the level of her greater trochanter. Lena has been warming up for a few minutes now at 25 watts, and she has been cycling at 50 revolutions per minute. Since it's been about two minutes, I'm going to take Lena's vitals again. I'm going to take your heart rate. So now I'm going to take your blood pressure. Go ahead and rest your hand right on my shoulder. Perfect. one more time. Perfect. And um, what would you say your rate of perceived exertion is right now? I would say six. Perfect. So um, Lena's vitals were 76 for her heart rate, her blood pressure was 112 over 78, and as she said, her RPE was 6. Now we're going to begin the test. I'm going to go ahead and bump you up to 140 watts to get you into that submax range. Perfect. And try to keep cycling at that 50 revolutions per minute if you can. Um, so as we proceed with the test, um, please let me know if you notice any of the following. If you feel chest pain, shortness of breath that seems unusual for your level of exertion, or dizziness. Um, I'll also be monitoring to make sure that your systolic blood pressure doesn't increase more than 200 millimeters of mercury, um, that it doesn't stay at the same level after we've increased your uh, workload, and also that your diastolic blood pressure doesn't increase or decrease more than 10 millimeters of mercury. Uh, we also want to make sure that your heart rate increases at an appropriate rate as your workload increases. Um, if you notice any of these, we'll stop the test. Um, also, Lena has a history of vasovagal syncope, so if you start to feel dizzy or lightheaded, please let me know. Also, if I notice a sharp drop in your blood pressure, we'll stop the test. All right, so we're going to let you keep going here for just a couple of minutes and see if we can't get that heart rate into your submax range. Sounds great. Perfect. So according to the A-strand test, not only do we have to get you in your submax range, which um, the low end is 115, but we also need you to be at least 125 beats per minute due to the protocol of this particular test. Yeah. All right. We're almost there. You feeling okay? Mm -hmm. Good. Feels good. Nice. Now that you've been working for about two minutes, I'm going to go ahead and take your heart rate again. So your ergos are going to start just a little further. Good job. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and do a blood pressure.
Okay, one more time. Let's give him another wave. Perfect. And your rate of perceived exertion now? I would say about a 14. All right, nice work. Really good. Okay. Um, so now Lena's heart rate is within her submax range. Um, your heart rate was 132 and your blood pressure was 116 over 78. Um, all of those things are well within the normal range, so we're going to continue to take the test. Uh, we're going to go for another three minutes or so, and we want to try to see if we can get that heart rate to stay at a steady state. So a steady state is going to be where it's within five beats per minute of the value that we just got. You still feeling okay? Feeling great. Good. I'm really excited to see that that blood pressure hasn't dropped either, so we can continue the test. Me too. Awesome. Okay. Let me slow down just a little if you can. Good job. It's so hard to keep it at 50 beats per minute. It really is. So you're doing a great job. Almost done. Do you have any questions for me about the A-strand test? No. Nope. Okay, we're going to see what your VO2 max is. We're going to do some math with it then. You're explaining it very well. Oh, good. All right. Slow it down just a little bit. We're almost there. Good job. Okay. You ready? We're going to do your vitals again, see if you maintain that steady Sounds state. Good. Okay, here we go. Let's take that heart rate. one more time. Go ahead and put your hand up on my shoulder. Perfect. Job and your heart rate one more time. Awesome. Okay, and then your rate of perceived exertion one more time. Say about 15. Oh, you're working so hard. Okay. Um, so you were able to maintain steady state, so that is good news for you. It means we get to um, cool down. So your um, heart rate was 133, and your blood pressure this time was 122 over 82. So again, all well within that normal range. But now I'm going to go ahead and take you back down to that 25 for your active cool down. And we're going to go ahead and cool down for about 5 to 10 minutes. I'll measure your vitals after 3 minutes again, and then again at the end of your cool down. Your cool down will allow you to gradually recover your heart rate and blood pressure, as well as get rid of any metabolic end products from your muscles um, that you used today during the test. As you complete this cool down period, we'll also have you perform some stretches to help you increase your range of motion. Thank you for your test today. Thank you.